Ladies and gentlemen, this is Let's Take On 026, and this is Roll Chan World 2. So, what can we say about the second Game Boy game in the series? Well, it's different. It's very different. It was made by a completely different company, completely different composer, handles a lot different from the first game, and generally speaking, most people don't like it. Because it's... 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 different. <laughs> I mean, you listen to these sick beats? Who was the composer of this game? I think it was... Kenji Yamasaki? Um... But, yeah, this game is not, is considered the worst of the Rockman World series, Mega Man World series, Game Boy games. Now, me personally, this is actually my favorite game, because it's so oddly different. I'm weird like that. Some of the main reasons that people don't like this game is that the controls are weird, the physics are a little odd, the music is really grating. Yeah. But with all the things this thing this game does wrong, it's not very often you hear about all the things that it does right. I mean the soundtrack probably isn't one of them. And it's tolerable though. It's music, kind of. But there are a lot of things this game actually does right, and I will get to those probably in the next few stages. But, um, it's possible this game was made in a hurry. Oh, and you don't actually start the game with the coil, which is different. But yeah, it's possible this game was made in a hurry, because it was released only half a year after the first game, and like about 14 days after the, uh, after the, uh, fourth NES game. But it's honestly not that bad a game. People just, I don't know, they give it a... They give it a bad rap for some reason, in my opinion. Like I said, sure the graphics are a little janky, and the engine's a little weird, but it does a lot of good things too. Like for example, it gets a lot of the enemies right. Like, the peepees work right. It didn't look quite right in the first game, that's for sure. 
pretend there's no arbitrary shot limit in this game. The Lightning Lords, if I'd actually let them fire. There you go. Those work correctly. And something that I appreciate immensely, even though it's, you know, cough cough inaccurate, when you get life or weapon energy in this game, it actually just, you know, refills on the go. Instead of, like, pausing the action. What? One thing I don't like is that you can't jump or slide through the boss shadows, though. That makes me sad. They also failed to do, you know, like, double buster damage on the bosses again, but... That's fine. Actually, the bosses in this game are probably the, one of the weakest points. Because the bosses in this game are very, very easy to fight. Which, I mean, you could look at it as, like, being a good thing or a bad thing, depending, but... Like, most people see it as a bad thing. But yeah, as I mentioned, this is actually my favorite game in the series. Because it's just, it's, it's very different. Oh, did I mention no shot limit? That is something that doesn't happen in any of the other games on the Game Boy. Another thing, <clears throat> another thing I was just reminded of while fighting these rabbits is that the sprite work is really micro-sized. Like, I don't really know why. I mean, that is a tiny... Tiny hot dog. So. But, I mean, they did that in the other Game Boy games, too. Just not to this extent. Also got a little Needleman action going on here. I'm not sure what that's about. That's always appreciated. Not that I'll be using weapons, uh, not that I'll be using weaknesses in this game, but, uh, yeah. Not the hardest version of Woodman in the world. Shield. 
Now, one another thing I greatly appreciate about this game is that they didn't get ridiculously lengthy with the levels. The level sizes in the first game were just kind of obscene. Again, in my opinion. I don't need that. Get out of my way! And now I do. I'm sure you guys are really wondering about these things. Like if you watched my uh, Rochan 2 video, I'm wondering if, you know, the people that made this game got those things accurate. Well, I can honestly say yes they did, but I can't show you in this level because there's just not enough room. Why did I cling to that ladder? So I didn't even notice that until now, but that's something they failed to get right, technically. You shouldn't be able to, you know slide up into a... Oh, that's another thing I never noticed before now. Um, you sh shouldn't be able to slide into the... into a one-by-one -one gap. What I was trying to say. You remember the fit I had in the Gemini Man stage in Roll Chan 3. shield in this game is actually four different leaves. So that's cool. Alright, now I gotta remember how to fight this dude. He actually is weak to Crash Bomber. Alright, he's predictable. say that, but... He still kicked my butt. Um, also, you shouldn't be able to change directions with the sliding, but, yeah, never mind. doesn't switch the uh, direction of his conveyor belt in this game either. On top of being, you know, highly predictable. Oh well. You got Metal Blade and Tango Diver. It looks cool from the outside. And there's Dr. Wily. Boy, this game's wrapping up quick, isn't it? Fooled you. And what's this? I was expecting a refight. Or just a boss. That's right, this is the game I wanted to show this off in. I 
except it's not working. There's something you can do with sprite overloading in this game. If I can get it to work, well, that'd be great. I'm not going to be able to get it to work. That's terrible. Or maybe Zinc fixed it somehow. I don't know. But yeah, if you... If you manage to, uh... Just get so many sprites... Or maybe it's an emulation error. No, that can't... Well, maybe. I was able to do it on the virtual console. On the, uh... 3DS virtual console. slide under those? Oh my god, you can't slide under those in this game. Also? Terrible. But I was able to do this on the uh, 3DS Virtual Console. So, I don't know. Well, are you gonna tell us what you did or not? Alright, so, sprite overload. If you get enough sprites on the screen at one time, you actually kind of stop taking damage. But as soon as the sprite overload clears up, you start taking damage again and, well, more than likely, die immediately. I do not appreciate the fact that you do not stay stationary while using this weapon in this game. That is not good. Also, the fact that it doesn't make a noise when you use it is kind of like... They got the boss doors right in this game. Take that first game. You remember how easy I said Hardman was in the first in Mega Man 3? Well, he's even easier in this version. His fists do even less damage. If he actually does more damage, though. His fists are also a lot easier to avoid, too. You got hard knuckles. I'm a punch ya. I need it too. Oh. Wow, that's not great against Harry Harry's. That looks so weird. Oh, I think I know. I think I just remembered another. Ooh, thank you. I think I just remembered another reason why. This is actually my favorite of the Game Boy games. Because it's, like, you know, it's basically Mega Man 3. Oh, I, I, 
in a lot of ways. Ow. First to admit, this is not the greatest representation of the Alrighty. This is not the greatest representation of the NES games. No. No. I'm getting that. But back in the day when I used to play this on the Game Boy. I was happy. I only had Mega Man 2 and 3 on my Game Boy, and I actually played this a lot more. And like I said, I actually got a copy of this game. Well, I mean, not the World Chan version, but I actually got a copy of uh, Rockman World. Uh, Mega Man World 2. Uh, the second Ma Game Boy Mega Man game. There. Virtual console, and as if by fate, back when I lived in Arizona, I was actually able to manage the bit. Wow, I can't talk. Also, my mouth is wet perpetually. What I'm trying to say is. There's something with him. Yeah, weirdness. He can only hit you on the way back. Also, he has not. There you go. I own physical copies of both Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy and Rockman World 2 on the Game Boy. Is what I was desperately trying to get at earlier, and it just wasn't working. You got Needle Cannon, and it's just as good in this game as it is in the NES one, in my opinion. 